Hello, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a song called Andagio. Uh, Andagio for Strings by Samuel Barber, an American composer. So I'm going to read a few things about this um, composer. So, Andaggio for Strings was composed by American composer Samuel Barber in 1936. Originally uh, written as the second movement of his string quartet, Opus Number 11, Barber later arranged it for string orchestra and it has since become one of the most recognizable and moving pieces of classical music. The piece is noted for its slow tempo and expensive lyrical melodies. It unfolds gradually building in intensity and emotion Um, the music flows in long, sweeping phrases that convey a deep sense of yearning and melancholy. Melancholy. Let's talk about the opening. The piece begins with a quiet, sustained note in the violins, gradually introduced to maintain theme in a simple and hauntingly beautiful manner. Let's talk about the development. As the piece progresses, the theme is passed between the different sections of the orchestra, each time growing in emotional weight and intensity. The harmonies become richer and more complex heightening the sense of sorrow and beauty. Number three, climax. The music reaches a powerful climax where the tension and emotion are at their peak. This section is often described as heart-wrenching and can bring listeners to tears with its raw emotional power. After the climax, the piece slowly descends back into a quiet and reflective mood, ending with a sense of resolution and peace. Andaja for Strings has been used in numerous films. Excuse me. television shows, and public events, often during movements of mourning and reflection. Its universal appeal lies in its ability to touch the human soul and evoke deep emotional responses. It is beloved by audiences around the world as it is a staple in the repertoire of many orchestras. This piece is renowned for its beauty and emotional depth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Making it a perfect choice for those moments when you want to experience the power of music to move and inspire. All right, with no further ado, let's react to this beautiful piece of, of music. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into it.
Right. Um, one thing I noticed was, I know this song, I've heard it before. And uh, there was one moment where the violins were supposed to be. Uh, but I think the maestro just went like, boom. And then everybody went like, Dah! and then the next, the next, um, you know, what do you say, move? I don't know. The next move, they were, they went like, like lighter or more suave than they were supposed to. That was funny. The maestro went like, and then the violins were like, because the, the version I heard, it's very, very beautiful. This one was maybe because it was live. I don't know. The other one was recorded at a studio, so they could have redone it. Uh, and this probably happens every time you record an orchestra with a bunch of uh, musicians, um, instrumentalists live. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Thank you as always for being here. I'll see you guys next reaction video. Bye for now.